good. We uh, got a great motorcycle back underneath us. New motor, new swing arms, new parts, uh, refreshed positivity. And this is a, probably my best track on the whole schedule. So let's try to put in a couple good, good sessions here, get a good Friday underneath us, and try to put together a whole weekend. And I think we can fight for the podium. There's no reason why not. So let's get, let's get to work. Took the risk. Rose gold paddock on my wrist. If I pull up, pull up, is it lit? Beeping by the gate, I've been beeping by the gate, I've been. running across the track so just getting a feel for the bike and shaking it down and everything and um, bike feels good new motors really peppy um, yeah. you know not a whole lot we can learn so we kind of just spun some laps and shook down some new ergonomics and stuff and we should be good for this afternoon give it a shot and uh, try to stick it toward the front of the time sheets that's a goal well, everything went pretty well. I had one minor hiccup at the start, but yeah, everything went pretty well. He just went out and made some lap, kind of verifying our brand new bike is back in action, but everything seems to be going good. So. From our standpoint, not having to ride the bike through the rivers, it, uh, it was good. The boys did a good job putting the bike all together. Um, ran it through, everything's looking good on that. Um, now we're just a few minor tune-ups that we want to do, and they're looking forward to this afternoon actually getting down. Hopefully the rivers go away and put our head down and get some lap times. Day one, uneventful day. That's what we want. So, got out there. It's, it rained so much yesterday that uh, unfortunately the track conditions were just terrible. Running water across the track, but um, you know, got to shake down this new bike we built and uh, new engines running really strong. Both sessions we had you know rivers kind of running across the track that we had to run through. So it's, you couldn't really do a whole lot as far as you know trying to compare lap times and things to years past. So. I feel good about what we've been able to uh, to make out of today. You know, didn't throw any bikes down the road, so I'm pretty happy. We're here at New Jersey. It's not a track I have to learn, so see what we got in the morning. Hopefully the track is completely dry, and I think we'll have a, a good shot to be fighting for front row and podiums, and that's all we want. So see how it goes. Forward to a good session this morning. Uh, had a had a good session yesterday. Shook the bike down. Uh, session we were able to actually work on a couple things as opposed to have to you know repair things or or deal with any mechanicals. Now we're just looking forward to this morning and actually give it a little bit drier track and getting down to some good race time. Feeling good. Just uh, put together some real laps around here in the dry. Can't wait. Let's see what we got. good just getting up to speed getting some feedback um, making a, a 
few changes to the bike for sure. Uh, just trying to get me a little bit more comfortable and you know, kind of trying to search for a feel that I know this track can give me. So we're, um, we've got a really, really good pragmatic approach that we're taking right now just to try to get me a little bit more comfortable. And uh, with yesterday's conditions, it makes it tough to, to find out things until this morning because we finally got some dry track. So we, um, a couple changes to the front, a couple changes to the rear, small gearing change, and uh, see what we can do in Super Pole. Try to at least stick it on the front two rows and uh, just see what the bike can give me. Good, mate, good, good. We can do all the important stuff for a change. Instead of rebuilding one, we've got a full bike. We can make the most of it. Nice. Honestly, we're eighth on the grid. We're about a second off what I've done here fairly easily in the past, so that's not a good sign. Just searching for some stuff. We gotta look at the data, compare to last year, and see if there's something I'm doing different. Because um, we've been, uh, been quite a ways around this thing, making changes, so something's missing. We gotta find it. Um, but bike in one piece. Gonna have to fight a little bit from the third row, but uh, I'm confident we can make some positive changes and just try to work through it for the whole weekend. Big picture. But then there's Tony Elias. Oh! And down goes Gagne. Gagne. Another mistake from him this week, and he can't believe it. How about Kyle Wyman? Number 33 Wyman, who's put on the podium here at New Jersey Motorsports Park before. So the 33 of Wyman on the Cato Passing Stone Castle KWR Ducati, that Pentagoli B4R. Trying to hold off the advances of Bobby Fong, who's getting used to that setup right now. In for fourth place. All right, P4. Nothing wrong with fourth. I was I was feeling a little discouraged going into the race, so you just got to keep plugging, put your head down. I was catching Tony in the middle of the race for third, and I thought for a little bit I was gonna I was gonna have a battle with him, but um, I think I got it down to like 2.6, and then I lost a whole second with a lapper with like six to go, and. Uh, it wasn't going to be enough, so. Uh, but had a nice gap to fifth, so we'll take fourth today, and it's a big, uh, big bounce back from where we've been. So really happy. Don't crash yourself out of the championship, right? Overall, it was very good. Uh, I was happy with it. I mean, you got a great start. You went with the leader for a while and had a good pace, and ended up fourth. Not bad at all. Pretty good. Hopefully tomorrow and a little better again. Got to work a little bit on uh, a little more electronics uh, changes for a couple things that we tried uh, today that have been successful. We go a little more now that he's got a full race under his belt, and as well as a little bit of uh, searching for a little bit of rear grip. A couple ideas to try for tomorrow. Good, all rock and roll, ready to go, mate. She's all nice and fresh. Sun sunshine's out for a change as well, which is great.
things out there. So now we're just trying to put a couple of pieces together to see if the race we can move a little more towards the front and lap time wise. Looking for those few tents to bring us up a little closer. But uh, good first session this morning. Learned a few things. So uh, I guess a little bit. Get ready for race two. Warm up was pretty good. We tried a little bit of a change in the rear and uh, picked up a little bit in a couple spots and lost a little bit in other spots and uh, got to follow the champ out there for a couple laps and really picked up on some weaknesses that we need to work on so we're making a geometry change to try to get the bike more on its nose so it holds its line through some of the faster corners and um, we need to make a step today to be uh, on the podium so Hopefully that gives us our step, and we'll see what happens. Third row again, and uh, should be good. We're ready for race two of the Hono Superbike class. 14 laps scheduled in this one. A strong front row of Yamahas, and Cameron Bovier looking to get another launch into turn number one to be the first one there. Uh, he gets another brilliant wow. start. What a start. Now look at Tony Elias in the yellow. He's going to go to the inside, Greg. at a 22.5 right now. So he talked earlier about wanting to get down to those 21s. Kyle Wyman, on the other hand, I know they're continuing to try to make some changes to this Ducati. Uh, yesterday, they had a, a decent setup. They tried to make some improvements on it this morning. But Cam's able right now to hang with Kyle Wyman. good weekends when you do something good on Sunday. If you don't do as good as you did on Saturday, it feels like a fail, even though we just finished sixth. We're taking the steps backwards from Saturday to Sunday, and uh, we just want more. So, you know, the bike was okay yesterday. It was pretty good, but, you know, we we're trying to make it better so we can get closer to the front, and we took a step backwards today, so that's a real, real bummer, but um, we got some more data. We got back-to-back -back weekends, so we got all the guys with us all week. We can put our heads down, try to figure out a solution for Barber, and get back on that podium. That's, that's what we're fighting for, and uh, just trying to get that Ducati up front. Yeah, so, I mean, we came in here um, just looking to bounce back from the ridge and how many uh, issues we had there with crashes, and um, came in and uh, Got the bike back together with some good bits on it. Friday was kind of a wash because the track was so wet. We had rivers running across that we didn't really get to much, get much work done. And uh, it's really hard to, to get a leg up on the guys who are so dialed in when we can't get any laps. So it's been a little bit of a struggle and, and uh, you know, overall a positive weekend. Saturday we, we qualified eighth, which was not where we wanted to be. Just wasn't getting the feeling out of the bike. and. We put together a really great race on Saturday where we finished fourth, which was awesome because we, we really needed a result and the bike was not too bad. Um, but you you got to get closer. So we put some changes in it for Sunday morning, kind of went backwards and then th threw some more changes at it for the race. And we didn't have the pace we had yesterday. And it's, it's, really, uh, it's really hard to understand what went wrong because, uh, you know, it, not really better or worse things that we did, just different. So it's it's um, it's a fussy little motorcycle we got in the Ducati, but uh, you know I know what, when we find our footing, we're going to be really strong on this thing. So we're going to just keep plugging away, keep fighting, and uh, we got another shot at Barber just in a couple days. So we're going to hop in the rig and head down there and. Uh, see if we can bounce back at one of our good tracks from last year.